Hey, what do you have, buddy? It is Electrics. And it is time for the final part of Beyond Two Souls, or at least I think it's the final part. Uh, everything leading up until now is saying that this is the final part. I mean, the place is destroyed, the portal is done, um, everybody's dead, the, we went to the beyond, so I'm guessing that this is the very final part. Aiden is gone, everything is... You know, it's looking really weird and confusing. I'm kind of confused as to what can even go on now. Like, if Aiden's gone, hopefully it'll just show my life and what's gonna happen next, but I suppose we should get right on in there. All right, sorry about that. I had to skip over, because it took me back to Black Sun for some reason. I have no idea why it took me back to Black Sun, but I fi like I finished that part. I don't, I don't see why it took me back, but here we go. I just hit butt twice. Maybe I'm thinking about butts. Booty butt cheeks. Booty butt cheeks. Ever since the black sun was destroyed, my memory has been disintegrating. Why? I spent too much time on the other side. Now it's eating away at my mind. And if we came back for her to go Every crazy, left of it. I'm gonna be pissed. My memories are all confused, slowly self-destructing, fading like a dream when you wake up. I'm losing my sense of time. I no longer know what happened before or after. Everything's playing inside my head at the same time. It's like watching the same film looping over and over again. Chaos of images with no order. So I've been writing night and day for weeks. Trying to put my life down on paper. But then you won't even know that the book was yours. These pages will be my memory. Three months after the fact, the investigation continues in an effort to determine the cause of the accident that cost 283 lives on a Pentagon military base. That's classified information. Representatives confirm that the authorities are working hand in hand with the investigators to shed light on this appalling tragedy. The CIA is leaving me alone for the moment. I suppose they're too busy building another condensed. I'm glad those dicks are gone. I know they'll never abandon their experiments now that they know what's on the other side. Honestly, I don't give a damn. But won't they come- I need to reconstruct my life. Won't they come after me? Since they, once they build a new condenser, my which they're obviously gonna do. <laughs> For as long as I can remember, I dreamt of living without him. Untied, without his constant presence by my side. Hey man, he was kind of cool. I got my bro. I actually kind of liked Aiden. I've never been so unhappy in my life. I feel like part of me has been amputated. Crying all day. I know it's stupid. Shit. I miss him so much. Shut up. Shut up, you stupid phone. I'm busy. Like, where, where was Ryan? I thought we got hooked up with him or whatever. Oh snap. Oh snap. Unmarked letter. This is bad. Aww. Why did I send that to him? Who sent that to him? Is that me? This game is so confusing! I have less of an idea of what is going on than I did at the beginning. Was time. 
time to start again, to build a new life. Um, uh, Jay is kind of cool, but we didn't even really get to know. How can I even have a life with Zoe? That makes no sense. Why would I? Maybe there's like a path you can go for love or something. Jay, though, I don't really even know Jay. Yeah, he's he's pretty cool and stuff, but he tries to be super mysterious and like, get off our land. I, I can tell he's going to be a really crappy old man. <laughs> he's going to be a bit of a douche when he's old. I can already tell. He's just going to live in like one of those trailers where um, there's just like a bunch of tires. Basically where he lives now. <laughs> and... Um, Every day he's going to come outside, there's going to be like a cat on the lawn, he's going to take a hockey stick to it and just be like, Psh! Get out my lawn! <laughs> and Ryan seems to be like the only sane. Zoe, I, I'm not even going to go for that. And alone? Bad idea, I'm already going crazy, so let's go with Ryan. It's so obvious. Deep inside, I, I always knew. I just needed the silence around me. To hear what I was feeling. So, can you and Zoe have a lesbian lovership? It took me a while to realize how much I love them. Or maybe you're just friends. So. I've been alone and sad for so long. I, I've forgotten what it was like to love someone. If you reject me, I will kill you. I will literally kill you. Oh, sweet, he's super happy. Nice! This is the most awkward scene in the world because their lips are barely even touching the game. They're like all off kilter and everything. Oh my god. We traveled as far away as we could. I had to learn to love again. To put my trust in someone to stop fighting and running away. My shoes. Sure. They're green just like my eyes. I had to learn to live. Just like the swamp that my life has been like. Ryan and I never talked about it again. I just stared into his abs all day, and I never thought about anything else. <laughs> As if the other side didn't exist. As if it could never come back into our lives. Is there going to be a part two? That would actually be really cool to do. Just like sail to an island. And go make a completely new life. Nobody lives there, just you. Well, you better like the person you go with. <laughs> I always thought sailboats were kind of cool, but it takes so long to get anywhere. And motorboats, you run out of gas. You can't get to the island anyway. I don't know, I haven't been on that many boats. <laughs> we used to canoe a lot. And paddle boat. And we had a little motorboat too. So beautiful. <laughs> Coconuts. Yeah, I'll open coconut. Who threw that? Curious George, is that you? He didn't throw it. Oh no, is she forgetting? Is she even living this? Still here. Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, life is good. Yes! Aiden is still here. And he gave me coconuts. 
I didn't use my best plan. So he's kind of like a genie, really. Let my cuffs go! Set me free! Now he's just free to roam the earth as he will. That's cool. I think I did good. I that would be my tonight. ideal ending. Terrifying things. Yeah, except for the nightmares, maybe. I tell myself it's only nightmares, but I know it's not true. Once Pandora's box is open, it can never be closed again. No. It's not nightmares. Is that the real reality? It's what is about to happen. I've died twice already. I'm not afraid of death anymore. She died twice. Bruh. <laughs> this game is like next time. Oh my god, I was so afraid I lost. This game's like, hey man, you, you think you got an idea what's going on, do you? You think you figured it out? You think you're smart? Yeah, check this out for size, smart guy. And then they just throw you a total curveball and you're like... What? Like, you don't even know what's going on. I have no idea. She's magnificent. Maybe this ties into... I know there's another Beyond game. I don't remember what it's called right now. But maybe it ties into that. That would be hella cool. Wait, does she have a band too? Yeah! <laughs> Fuck you, Dad! I'm gonna play in my band if I like to, but your, your music sounds like shit. I don't care! I'm gonna be a rock star one day. <laughs> I am so tripped out. That was such a good game, though. Um, I really like Mindfox. I really do. Some of my favorite movies have just been total Mindfuck movies, like uh, Shutter Island, um, Pan's Labyrinth. Uh, there's, there's just tons of them, but I like movies where something happens where it's just, it totally blows you away at the end. You're just like, holy shit. I didn't realize. <laughs> I still think about Shutter Island. I still think he might have been legit, or maybe they lobotomized it, but it's pretty obvious that he was. Now I'm gonna start going <laughs> going on about Shutter Island now, because <laughs> keep talking about this game. But yeah, this was a really good game. Glad I played it. And now I'm so curious if this ties into the other Beyond games. I need to Google that. Oh, that's so cool. I know there's like, let's see, how many endings are there in this game? I think there's like, I think it's close to 20 or something. There's a lot of endings. Or maybe it's just five. I should have Googled this before I started playing the last episode. But anyways, there's a lot of endings. And that's just one possible one. Now, does that mean that I effed up? That the world is going to be destroyed in the future because I effed up and screwed it up? But in the present right now, life is good. Like, it's cool. That's what I think happen is, is happening. Is that I messed up, and in the future, everything's going to explode and destroy everything, and the whole world's going to get fucked up because I messed up somehow. And I think it has to do something with Aiden still being there. If I had have just entered the beyond, I doubt the world would it would come to an end. I think I'm part of the key. Because they're building a new condenser, obviously, that's that's obvious. Then they're gonna come find me and they're gonna be like, you bitch, and then uh, they're gonna try and find Aiden. Or they're gonna torture me until Aiden comes. And when Aiden comes, that sounds so bad, he's gonna be, very unhappy. 
and he is going to kick a whole lot of ass because the only thing that was really holding Aiden back was me. He was attached to me, so he couldn't go very far. He couldn't do a whole lot of damage. If that it, if he turned out to be evil, he couldn't do too much. He just had to, you know, sit and chill, chill out. But now he's free, and he can go wherever he wants, he can do whatever he wants, and he can kick as much ass as he wants. And I think that is part of what is going to end the world. But it's so weird because right now it seems like everybody's so happy. Jody, <laughs> little Jodes, <laughs> is so happy. Aiden seems happy. You can't really tell because he's invisible. Um, and of course, Ryan is ecstatic. He's having the best time of his life. He's like, man, I get this hot chick. I get to live with her forever. Love my life, it seems. Like, he did love me, though. Like, a lot of the game, I was like, what a douchebag. What a douche. What a colossal douche. But... The other ones didn't seem like good candidates. Like the other guy, he was... But maybe them seeming like a dick is telling me how good they are. I don't, I don't know, I'm just coming up with random stuff now just to finish off the credits. Special thanks to Sony Computer Entertainment as always. Oh yeah, E3 was bomb. So good, I wish I had gone. Like Sony crashed the party. Crash Bandicoot Remastered? Crash Bandicoot Skylanders? God of War! Oh my god, take my money. Just take it now. PlayStation VR? I... Whenever I saw VR, was never that big of a fan of it. I was just like, well, VR is a stupid gimmick. Yeah, it kind of looks cool, but it looks like a gimmick. But when I saw Resident Evil 7, Biohazard, and that it was going to be on PlayStation VR, I was sold, man. Like, uh, I, I want to buy it now so bad just because of that. It looks so cool. I actually can't. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to put a little thing up on my live streams like, going to buy it. For Maria and Mercedes from the Infraworld, I know you're watching me. Nathan. That was Nathan. Okay, let's see what we got. Convince Dawkins. Okay, so because he didn't survive, Black Sun down. You've earned a trophy. Choose life. Earned a trophy. I think you earned a trophy. To you have earned a trophy. The end. Thanks, bud. Chose Ryan, 36%. Wow, I'm uh, in the minority there. I wonder how many other people chose each. Well, why don't you show me? I hate you. Now I have to play the game one, two, three, four, five, six, or I have to play that chapter six times in order to figure out who chose each one. Oh, man. Woo! That was awesome. I can't believe it's all over that, though. I gotta Google that. Well, apparently they're not connected. I saw another game actually today when I was looking for the Resident Evil Biohazard demo. Yeah, it's up for demo now. They put it on the exact same night, which I thought was really cool. And I saw this game called Rain. And it's about an invisible boy who can only be seen in the rain. And I was just thinking like, whoa, dude, that could be like Aiden or something. That's insane. It's, it's kind of funny how all of the games that this developer has made are different and stuff, but they all seem sort of connected. Like Heavy Rain, uh, Rain, the Beyond games, they all seem sort of similar. But they're also kind of different. They're not connected per se, but they have similar storylines, which makes sense because they're from the same developer. But I need to stop talking. Oh my god, I could go on forever. Well, I think we'll play a couple more episodes of Overwatch and then we're gonna do TMNT. I was, me, ADJ, and Keep Wild were playing it, but the recording was corrupted. Yeah, an hour, what was it, an hour and a half, two hours is corrupted. So we have to re-record it. That's otherwise it would be already up on the channel. <laughs> I hate when recordings corrupt. And not just my recording corrupted. ADJ's corrupted too. <laughs> so I mean, I have to replay it anyway. Ah, I'm so pissed! Why?
Why does it have to be corrupt? Anyways, this is me. If this is your first time here, you should. This is me. Of course, it's me, you moron. If this is your first time here, you should probably hit that sub if you want to see some more, or if you want to see like some more of the games that I just mentioned, because they're gonna be super cool. Rabbit punch that like button. Punch it. Audio. Fuck <laughs> 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 at the panic on his face.